and governments in the aviation industry this morning scrambling to find some new ways to stop terrorists from planting bombs on airplanes was the big news over the weekend as you know joining us this morning is the president of McCann Protective Services and also a former UN security chief Michael McCann uh, Michael thanks so much for um, for being with us on this short notice now uh, you know we've been talking so much about it over the weekend but overall for UPS and FedEx what does it mean for them in terms of added costs on security well I, I think it will mean added cost but people should approach things different than we normally do when you have a problem you throw money and resources at it we should try to do things within existing resources and target where the threat is and devote more resources at that aspect of it okay but for UPS and FedEx so what do they have to do differently well there's a program that's been in existence for quite a while it's called CTPAT it's customers trade partnership against terrorism and the goal is to have the supply line people that are shipping things to ensure that what's being shipped is is safe <clears throat> more this has to program be, has been in place this program has has been in place for a number of years and it's for uh, companies whether it's uh, automobile companies computer companies that they're to ensure that the, tr the supply line where the, the uh, items are manufactured the trucking and everybody that's involved in that that there's some security uh, awareness and arrangements in place for that and UPS and FedEx are a part of that yes they are okay so the fact that they found these packages is that considered a success or a failure of this program well, it's, it shows that more has to be done, and probably what has to be done is... So UPS. it was a failure then? I wouldn't say it's a, it's a, it's a failure because uh, I take the view that there's a multi-layer approach, that you okay. have a lot of things in place, and one part of the program may not work as well as it should, but you, have, have, you must have multiple layers. Okay, but there must be some loopholes, and this program's not working. We saw these packages come through. Yes, well, what you have to do is, uh, is with UPS, they may have to check, screen everything before it's shipped. They may have to put x-ray uh, machines and the technology in place in countries such as Yemen and to ensure that what's getting on the plane is, uh, is safe. Because right now they don't screen everything. I don't think they screen everything. The number is about 65% of what's shipped is, uh, is screened. Okay, and is it possible to screen 100%? It may not be possible to screen 100%, but again, I think what the focus has to be is a multi-layer approach. You need the technology, you need the re human resources, which may fail, something may get by, so even if you have the technology and you have someone looking at the machine, it may get by. You need proactive law enforcement, and importantly in this case, the intelligence operation worked better than it has in the past. So if you have all these things in place, that if one aspect doesn't Fails. work as well, and the then you have the other, the, the other part that will work. Okay, what about shipping though? What about maritime shipping? I mean, where do we have to, how do you secure that? Well, what you have to do is one is the intelligence, knowing what's going, what's uh, what's taking place, and then the shipping. You have to screen as much as possible as you can, and then the CT pack program. But how screened is that, though? I mean, the cargo that comes on ships. How screened is yeah, that? Yeah, but I, I don't think it's ever going to be perfect. Okay. And I think we're not uh, being, you know, again, using reasonableness and, co and common sense approach, that uh, you and co and cost. You know, uh, things can be done, but the cost will be enormous, and uh, and will put FedEx or UPS out of business. So it has to be all these components and screen, target. You know, we're always worried about being politically correct, but target areas, target uh, where the threat is, mm -hmm. and the, potentially where it's coming from. Right. So don't do this thing, which we tend to do. You know, everybody a blanket, yes. a blanket threat, and we couldn't absorb the cost. Okay. All right, Michael. Thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Michael McCann, who's a for former. UN Security Chief. And up next, uh, how the midterm elections could affect the nation's banks. We're going to have...